Hello, so today we're going to be transferring files from a PC to an Amiga using this using this, a serial cable So we've got here an Amiga 1200 and if we look on the back we've got a number of ports and the one that we need to be looking at is the serial port not the power port so we'll plug in the 25 pin connector into the serial port of the Amiga like so and then on the back of the PC you'll have a 9 pin serial port this one here and that's where we're going to plug in the other end of the cable into there fits in there like that. Now you're going to need a fairly old PC to do this. Um, a lot of modern PCs don't have serial ports anymore. Right so on the PC side of things um, you need to head over to amigaforever.com forward slash AE forward slash and on this site we'll be downloading the Amiga Explorer software um, so just click on download on that page and that will download the evaluation copy of the software um, and you can try it out you'll be limited to uh, a 10 uh, kilobyte file uh, but that's okay for these purposes um, if you do decide to uh, continue with the file transfers you can always buy the full copy later so once we've installed Amiga Explorer you'll notice a little icon at the top saying Amiga and now we need to check the COM port settings so you need to go into your device manager and look at the communication ports have a look at the settings in there uh, these have to match the settings that will be on the Amiga later just knock these down a notch just for testing choose the correct COM port Now we need to make sure that the settings on the Amiga reflect the same settings that we have on the PC. So we need to go to System and then Preferences and then Serial. And just check these settings here are exactly the same as what we have on the PC. Just as a quick side note, um, I'm using a compact flash card in my Amiga 1200, so that's why the desktop may look slightly different to yours. If you are using a Commodore Amiga 500, it's uh, exactly the same process. You just need your workbench discs, um, insert them, load them up, and then you can find um, your preferences in the utilities drawer and once 
once you've done that you can find the serial settings and then again make sure they're exactly the same as what you have on your PC and then you can access the shell also from within the workbench disk So over onto the Amiga, you need to open up a shell window. And over on the PC, we need to run the setup wizard. Go down to null modem serial transfer. And then choose the correct COM port. And then this is where we need to make a note of these settings here because we need those and then next and then we need to follow these commands on to the Amiga So if everything's gone to plan, you should now be able to click on your Amiga icon and be able to view your drive structure on your Amiga. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, my new video on the Amiga, um, how to transfer files with a serial cable. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you like all the other videos why not subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time Bye.